just note if there is tubing on it and a filter at the end or a cap at the end, then the technicians have done the ventilator. They've checked it, um, so there's no need for you to do it. However, if it's like this and the valve has been cleaned by yourself, then we turn it round and we put our tubing on. We need a basic breathing circuit that we use on all of our intensive care ventilators, which goes on the side here. So we've got inspiratory port, expiratory port. Again, it doesn't matter which way round this tubing goes. We then have a separate flow sensor that comes in a pack like this. We just need to open the pack. This flow sensor fits at the end of the tubing and then the other end connects to the ventilator. Blue goes to blue, white or clear goes to white here. Make sure you push them on fairly tight because you can have issues with leaks there. I'll turn the ventilator round, then I'm going to power it up by pressing the power standby button. It does a self check. Okay, it will take you to a standby screen here. What we want to do before we proceed to ventilation is do the pre op check, which you access by the tab here. And there's three checks that you need to perform tightness checks for leaks, flow sensor calibrates the flow sensor, and oxygen cell, which calibrates the oxygen cell. As you can see, this tells you when it was last performed. The first one I'm going to do is a tightness check. If I click on the tab, it tells me what to do on the screen. Disconnect patient. Don't have a patient. Now it says tighten patient system. I can block the tubing. It says on the screen maneuver in progress. I'm checking for leaks. Then it says connect the patient. You don't actually have to put it onto the patient. You can now see there is a green tick next to tightness and today's date and time that the test was performed. I move down to the next tab, which is the flow sensor tab. Again, instructions on the screen, disconnect patient. Now it's asking me to turn the flow sensor. Unfortunately, these don't fit. So in the pack, there is a white adapter, which will allow you to turn your flow sensor around for this part. It's currently saying manoeuvre in progress. Now it's asking me to turn the flow sensor again. Manoeuvre in progress. And again, we have a green tick, today's date and the time. Just a tip for you to make sure we don't lose this. You can clip that on the side of the flow sensor tubing here, so that if you ever have to do a flow sensor calibration later on, then it's on the side of the tubing. Moving down to the O2 cell, if on the tab, automatically starts. User doesn't have to do anything takes a couple of minutes okay once the oxygen calibration has finished you can see we have our green tick our date and our time that's the pre op check finished we can now hit the X button here and we can then proceed to start ventilating by checking our modes alarms and pressing the start ventilation button